Welcome to Mental Game Mastery, where we dive into the world of sports psychology and peak performance, designed for you to level up your athletic career. Hey there, athletes. I'm your host, Coach P, bringing you mental performance insights and stories from being in the trenches of athletic coaching. Now, as a mental performance coach, I'm often approached with the question of, Coach P, how do I perform better on a more consistent basis? But before I give you this answer, I just want to thank you for being here. And I have a favor to ask you. I'd ask that you subscribe to the show. You just hit the subscribe button. It's right under where I'm speaking. And follow me on my social channels. The links to those can be found in the description. I'd really appreciate it. It helps the show grow and evolve to where I can bring on successful guests that you'll benefit from. And also hitting subscribe helps you not miss out on any content that is released that will help you grow in your mental game and in your athletic career. Thank you again. Now let's continue. You know, I wish there was a magic pill that I could give every athlete to help them perform at their best. But we don't live in fairy tale land. Unfortunately, this isn't the magic kingdom. In my experience, I truly believe that in order to have consistent performance, you need to be aware of and be curious about how your life is structured which includes creating habits and routines within all aspects of your life. You know, I've often mentioned the fundamentals, how we eat, how we move, how we recover, how we breathe. You see, your physiology, how your body functions, will drive your psychology and vice versa because it's a dance. So where do you start? Well, you start by identifying areas surrounding your fundamentals that you can improve and go to work on by creating productive habits and routines to help you create the mindset that is needed for your success. I know for me that if I don't prep and take care of my meals ahead of time, and then when I'm drained or the day is not going the way I thought it would, well, a spicy chicken combo meal from Chick-fil-A seems like a good idea. And if I don't have my bedtime alarm, yes, it's a go to bed reminder because if I don't shut down the electronics and an hour before I want to go to sleep, then my sleep's going to be off. And if I don't spend time recovering from the stress of my days or the physical activity I do, then my energy won't be where I need it to be. With all the technological toys at our fingertips, it can take some of the guesswork out of it. So I highly encourage the athletes I work with to utilize some form of habit tracker, whether it's a habit tracking app such as Habit Share or using your Apple Watch or a Whoop Band or a Garmin Watch, we can measure what you want to improve. And it may seem tedious at first, but the goal is to get on autopilot in your daily life to where the decision has already been made. Because the bigger the goals you want to accomplish, the tighter your routines need to be. And if you leave room for negotiating with yourself, how do you think that's gonna turn out? So what are some of the areas of your fundamentals where you can build routines that can help you be more consistent. And if you have questions on how to improve your performance, visit my website at coachp.net. Now, if you found this episode insightful, remember to hit that like button, share this episode on your social and with other athletes, and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on training your mental game. Thank you for listening. And remember, the time is now.